Hello, ladies and gentlemen, this is Emotep. I think that's how it's pronounced. I don't know for sure, but this is Emotep the Duel, and it is a really, really fun, specifically two-player game. I really love the um, options. There's more and more options for these specifically two-player games that I've been seeing, uh, and I love them because my wife and I enjoy playing games, and it's just easy and convenient to do uh, to play these types of games. Uh, at home ourselves. So I love it, love this game. I love the original uh, bigger version with up to four players, I believe. Super fun. So let's go ahead and dive on into this. So let's show you some of the contents here that'll help give you a little bit more of a feel of the game here. So you've got a, a rule guide here, really pretty straightforward. There's only three things that you can do on your turn. You've got this main uh, little city, basically, or port uh, that has different ports on it. And so you have these different boats, six different boats, all lined up next to it. And so this is going to probably seem pretty familiar to the other game if you've played the other one. Uh, but the thing that is different is you actually have, each one of you have these different tiles that you, that you uh, put in a row on your side. And you have uh, all these right here that are going to be on the boats. And those are different things that go to the tiles. So the tomb right here, you're trying, they have different numbers on them and you're trying to get as many numbers as you can together. And so you don't want any gaps in there. And if you're able to get five all in a row, you get 25 points. That is really, uh, that's a lot of points if you're able to do that. The obelisk, you may remember that from the other one. Whoever has the most, you get uh, six points bonus for having the most. The temple, those have different uh, numbers on them to tell you how many they're worth. And then pyramids, you're building two pyramids right here. And the more you have, the more points you get. So you have your little meeples here that you're putting onto the board. And then once you put them onto the board, uh, you can, during your turn, you can decide to either put a meeple on the board, uh, you can sail a ship, or you can play an action token, which you may have collected from a previous uh, boat. So you're putting these little guys on and the strategy, uh, you, you look at the rows and columns and the strategy really comes in, do I want to uh, keep this, this person from getting you know, this column and so I'm gonna take this row instead or uh, different things. There's a lot of decision making that comes in. Uh, really, really intriguing, really, really fun game. So hopefully that gives you just a quick touch and taste uh, of what this game is, what it does, and why it may or may not be right for you. Thanks.